Meta Dragons. I went back to do some more research the situation between Azerbaijan, Armenia, and Turkey on a uh, hiatus, as well as listening to loads of system with down. It is horrifying what is happening. And as someone who is uneducated on the subject, would love to hear learn more. Any resources um, you would recommend checking out? Uh, yeah, Meta Dragons basically, what's going on is Turkey is trying to build um, sort of a uh, the, sort of a uh, neo-Turkish uh, Ottoman Empire, right? Connect up Turkey, Azerbaijan, and the Turkmenistan, and all those going across the Caspian, right? So that has been the promise of Erdogan, right? And Erdogan is a is is a psychopath, right? Is a he is religious, he is fanatic, right? And he has a dictatorial, complete control over Turkey. Azerbaijan, same deal, T complete dictatorship, uh, fanatics, right? Both of these countries, the le leaders of those countries, they consider Armenians to be less than dogs, right? That they consider Armenians to be an invasive species, right? They consider all of Armenia to belong to the greater Turkey, right? And they want to eliminate Armenia, right? They want to commit genocide continue the work or finish the work that they did the ottoman empire did the young turks did in uh during world war one at the beginning stages of world war one and into world war one right and they basically got together okay turkey azerbaijan and israel you cannot forget israel was a part of that deal as well israel helped turkey and azerbaijan Israel had soldiers on the ground, advisors on the ground as Azerbaijan, telling them how to use their drones and how to maneuver and kill as many Armenians as they could and take over the land. Right? So they got together, these three countries, and when after Nagorno Karabakh took over half, all said and done, took over half of Nagorno Karabakh, the deal they cut basically the genocide started from day one in that region of Azerbaijani troops going into that area they were they were getting rid of grave sites right getting rid of anything anything that was has been there for hundreds of years uh, that proved that showed that Armenians have been there for a long time right Russia has come in and protecting Armenia. Russian troops are now in Armenia. Russian bases are now in Armenia. And they're controlling that border. Is that going to maintain like that? I don't know. Uh, they better not fuck with Russia because Russia will annihilate them. Turkey is in deep shit right now. And the reason uh, Erdogan was doing this stuff was because Turkey is in deep shit. Their money has lost more than 90% of its value in the last 10 years. Okay, if you look at the exchange rate of uh, uh, Turkish reals, right? Their their money, I believe it's called real. It, their money has lost ninety more than ninety percent of its purchasing power, and the way a collapsing empire, collapsing dictatorship, prevents or distracts the citizens from realizing what's happening, right? To try to bring people together to stay in power for as long as possible, they wage wars. The United States is no different. All every country does this, right? And Turkey has been waging war, lashing out in all directions, right? Turkey even went to Libya to wage war, right? And Turkey has been funding Islamic fanatics in Syria for years, right? And what they did when they went to attack Armenia, they took some of these ISIS uh Al Qaeda, but it's gone beyond Al Qaeda. Al Qaeda looks like candy carrying little kids compared to ISIS and the fanatics that have they've grown into, right? They took those fanatics and put them on the front lines of front lines of the war with Armenia and they sent ISIS basically to fight against Armenians. Now keep in mind you didn't hear a peep about about what was going on really in the western world either so they had the backing of the united states and canada and the whole western world the only country that stepped in to protect the armenians 
right was russia there are armenians that will they will dispute this they'll say oh russia russia is now occupying armenia that's because they're idiots right they bought into the whole woke mentality of the western world coming out of los angeles california and they sacrificed armenian lives and gave away armenian land for their wokeness the dumbasses all right so there is internal conflict within armenia as well right there is internal political turmoil in, in Armenia as well. And that's happening because the Soros funded, right, color revolutions. It's complicated. There's a lot of SOBs in the game and innocent lives are being sacrificed. And there were innocent people. There were soldiers on the Azerbaijani side that died as well, right? They didn't understand what this whole game is, right? I'll say this again and I'll I'm basically paraphrasing Howard Zinn any country any leaders of any country that want their citizens to go wage war on any other nations right well Howard Zinn said this there's never need for war there's only need for insurrection okay and if you want to get the full uh, context of where that phrase where that paraphrasing me of Howard Zinn comes from look up Howard Zinn's lecture the three good wars he there's like three to three or four different versions of it I believe online it's called the three good wars I believe or the good wars look into that lecture that is a must watch lecture when it comes to understanding geopolitics of the world